story segment tonight. A new Fox News poll has plenty of good news for Donald Trump. Among Republican voters nationally, Trump comes in at 36 percent. Cruz is in second at 19 percent. Rubio, 15. Dr. Ben Carson and Jeb Butch each have 9 percent. And John Kasich has 8 percent. Now, with Trump maintaining a commanding lead in the Republican South Carolina primary just two days away, some think the writing is on the wall about who will drop out next. This is pretty much going to be the end of the Jeb Bush campaign in South Carolina after investing everything that he's invested in to be confronted with this unstoppable machine that is the Trump campaign. It's, it's literally unstoppable. Joining us now to analyze from Los Angeles, Charmaine Yost, senior advisor to the Huckabee 2008 presidential campaign, and with us in studio, former McCain advisor, uh, campaign advisor Boris Epstein. 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 That's Great to be like with Einstein. you. Like Einstein. Um, okay, Boris, <laughs> the, the numbers that were just released a couple hours ago: 36 percent Donald Trump, Cruz 19, Rubio 15. They, that's the national right. poll, but it's very similar to the South Carolina. The South numbers. Carolina poll tracks that almost to a T. Trump's in the 30s. He's up by 17 percent right about there, plus or minus. He's doing great there in South Carolina. He's doing great in Nevada. The polling we have from the March 1st primaries, he's ahead in a lot of those states. Right now, it's a runaway train. It'll be very difficult for anyone to catch up. Unstoppable he, machine, as, as Barnacle uh, suggests? Unstoppable. Unless, unless something happens in the next two days in South Carolina, right now it's an unstoppable machine all the way to the finish Charmaine. line. I mean, even even calling out the Pope may not be enough to stop the unstoppable train. Uh, the, again, uh, Boris's assessment here. Your thoughts? I think that's a little over optimism. I mean, yes, the thing that really strikes me about this polling data is that it's remarkably consistent. I'm a little surprised that it didn't change more after the debates because they were, you know, really so crazy. But the truth of the matter is, if you look at these numbers, Donald Trump is still not breaking 40%. Yeah, I mean, there's oh, a good spread between too. him and the all next week, two points. Charmaine, all but, week, I've been, I've been well, on here talking to people who say, you know, he only gets 35% or 38%. Again, that's right, 200% exactly. from his nearest, higher than his nearest competitor. Right. That's 550% know, Eric, higher than Jeb Bush. No, Eric, you know how this works, though. I mean, think about this. We had Iowa, we had New Hampshire, now we have South Carolina, which are one-off contests. We've got coming up in front of us the big one, Super Tuesday, mm -hmm. March 1st. We will know so much more about this race at midnight after that race is called, when right now Donald Trump has been going along as a political novice, being able to do one so state else? at a time. Who's going to derail Donald Trump? Once you have, to, do, once you have to fight across... I, I, I'm pretty sure in the last 40 years or so, there hasn't been a, a GOP nominee who, who didn't win South, um, New Hampshire or Iowa, and the only one left would be Ted Cruz. So are you calling for a Ted Cruz GOP nom nominee? Uh, you know what? I know, right? This is so interesting. The fact that you can look at these things and say, well, this has never happened before, and this is how it's always happened in the, in the past. And I love that kind of stuff. But let's be honest, this race is so much different than anything that we've seen Fair before. Enough. And good yet, point. the truth That's of the matter is, but, but you the make thing, a very good point. But the political political reality is still comes down to the fact that one man one vote people have to get out there and vote and in the past we let's talk about the past in the past we've always said there's three tickets out of iowa i'm going to argue to you that there's three tickets out of south carolina which is different than before well, I, I would, i'm not debating that whatsoever but, i mean hold on one second let me bring boris back in here three tickets may, perhaps but if donald trump takes 35 percent of the vote it's it's a tough road for the, the other two it doesn't matter, matter how many tickets there are and all that stuff that charmaine talks about is history and history really matters and that's the way we judge elections. So if you look at where Trump is now, he's going to win South Carolina. He's going to win Nevada. If he does not win the nomination, it'll be a fall of unprecedented proportions. It is simply not going to happen. And people keep saying the next one is the big one. After Iowa, they said New Hampshire is the big one. Trump has to win. He won huge, to use his phrase. Taking, taking on the Pope doesn't, doesn't risk the, the, the whole uh, unstoppable bandwagon? Well, it's more the Pope took him on, not the other way. Maybe he's, going to, maybe he's responded, right. but that matters much less. You, can, you see, and Charmaine mentioned this, he's done something in debates which no one has ever done. He's taken on other candidates. He's taken on the crowd, and it has not hurt him. It has helped him in the polls, and that's why he's such a strong nominee. Also, we care about electability in this party, and he's the only nominee we could have that's going to appeal to those blue-collar Democrats in Ohio, mm. in Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Well, yeah, and that's that, the key that, that's, to the election. You know what, a lot of these polls, Charmaine, we, we, we poll Republicans or Democrats on the Democrat side. There are, the Trump campaign says there's going to be a lot of Democrats voting for him. I'm not sure that, that works for him with the with the GOP, but that may be the case, right? 
Well, I think the polling data, when you look at um, our candidates over against Hillary and Bernie, are it's still really early in a campaign to start looking at those kinds of things. And I think you see strength among across the board in the in the Republican slate. And you know, there there's there's still so much time to go. And I think just saying that that it's settling in right now. Once you start to see the polling data isolated, yeah. when there are fewer candidates, things right. look very very different. Gotta and leave that's it what there. Gotta, that's what gotta, Donald Trump go. is going to come up go, against. But you got you got to think about this. So after that, he is so. And look, I, I'm not on the. I'm not doing this for any other reason other than pointing out the numbers. He's crushing it in Florida. He's doing very well in Alabama, in the South. Boy, I I, I, I kind of agree with Boris. If they're going to derail him, they better derail him in South Carolina right away. All right, Charmaine Boris, thank you very much. Coming up, Hillary Clinton donors 